In this video, we're going to look at how we can multiply a monomial times a polynomial. I want to consider a multiplication problem we've seen before. We've seen 5 times parentheses 3x minus 6. We know in this case we distribute the 5 onto the 3x to get 15x, and then distribute the 5 onto the negative 6 to get negative 30. In reality, 5 is a monomial, it's one term. In 3x minus 6, it's a binomial or another polynomial. So really, we've done this process before, multiplying a monomial by a polynomial. We know we simply have to distribute. As we do, there might be several variables we have to keep track of, and we just remember that we need to add exponents on any variables. So for example, if we wanted to distribute this 5x cubed through, when we do 5x cubed times 3x squared, 5 times 3 is 15, and on the x's, we'll add the exponents. 3 and 2 gives us a total of 5, 15x to the 5th. Then we'll distribute the 5x cubed onto the negative 4x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, assuming an exponent of 1, when we add the exponents on x, 3 plus 1 gives us x to the 4th. Finally, we'll multiply the 5x cubed times the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. There's no additional x's, we still have the x cubed though. And so we end up with our final product, 15x to the 5th, minus 20x to the 4th, plus 10x cubed. Let's try one more example one that's got a few more variables. Again, the process and pattern is still the same. We're going to distribute the negative 2a cubed b onto the following polynomial. When we first do it onto the 5ab to the 4th, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. For the a's, we'll add the exponents 3 plus 1 to get a to the 4th. On the b's, we'll add the exponents 1 plus 4 to get 5. Negative 10a to the 4th, b to the 5th is our first term. Distributing onto the second term, negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. Adding the exponents on a, 3 plus 2 is 5. And for b, 1 plus 7 is 8. And then finally, we distribute onto the very last term. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. We'll add the exponents on a, 3 plus 4 is 7. And for the b's, there's no additional b's, but we still have the b to the first, or simply b. And this gives us our final product of negative 10, a to the 4th, b to the 5th, plus 12, a to the 5th, b to the 8th, minus 4a to the 7th b. To multiply a monomial by a polynomial, we simply have to distribute the monomial onto each term. Remembering that to multiply variables, we add the exponents.